everybody. Welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy. And I have my BB Craft Sunday project for you. We're going to do a tutorial on uh, just a gradation of the pretty agate beads that I bought. I've separated them by color as close as I could get uh, because I'm going to do a color block uh, type of stringing where I'm basically, they're gonna be in this order, but rather than a random mix, I'm making the, this more regular. So we're gonna have the brown, then the aqua, then the dark blue, then the pretty fuchsia color, and then this beautiful ocean blue color. I'm gonna probably accent in between with these really bright seed beads. These are number 11 bright seed beads and also we're going to use some gold spacers these are faceted four millimeter and these really pretty drops that we got also from bb craft and then this is a pendant that i've had for a while that has those really pretty striations in them that mimic the beads and this really pretty lotus charm to put at the end. And then uh, I've got a bale here to hang from our wire. And some, I think these are four millimeter or five millimeter jump rings, crimp beads, and a toggle clasp in a really pretty floral pattern. And then these are optional too. I like covering my crimp beads with crimp covers. And then I have some beetle on 49 strand wire and if you use the wire it always tells you on the front what size crimps you can use. I'm going to be using number two crimp tubes today or you can use a number one crimp bead. So to get started I just laid all this out. I think I'm going to pour out some of these guys. I'll just put them on my mat here. I thought these uh, fuchsia beads would brighten up the whole palette and pick up the really bright areas of this pretty agate pendant. So first thing I'm going to do is get my pendant ready. When I make a necklace, I always do the pendant. And we're just going to basically open and close jump rings and get our pendant ready for stringing. This is a very simple stringing project. I do like the color block look. Um, sections of color scattered throughout a bracelet or a necklace look really nice. And so that's what I'm doing today with this really pretty agate beads from BB Craft. I do want to let you know that uh, I'll have all the links for the products in my description. Also on my Instagram and my Facebook, I am an affiliate of BB Craft. So what that means is if you click on those links, I may be eligible for a small commission and I have to disclose that. So. You've been, you've been warned or told. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, I'm delighted to do tutorials and videos. I love to shop on BB Craft. They have a really nice big website. If you've never been on there, they have great sales. And you can save all your favorites on what they call the love list. Okay, so here's my pendant. Nice and ready. That turned out pretty. My thought was to do these little guys kind of intermittent somewhere, not close to the end, but well, I don't know, maybe. Maybe further up the necklace. Or the other thought, which I might do, this is, this is where the creating comes in. Maybe we'll intersperse these Maybe we'll do that because we do have more of these. 
and then uh, the nice thing about designing and you can use a beadboard I I usually use a beadboard but for for the purposes of being on the camera um, I thought this might be a little easier for you to see yeah I kind of like that and then we can intersperse let's see we have one two three four five colors so if we did a color here that's one two three four yeah that'll work so I think I'll do these guys down here. I just like to lay it out before I actually string it. And I've been known to change my mind halfway through stringing. I mean, that's, that's part of the creation process. And then I thought I'd come in with maybe some of these mixed in we'll see once we start stringing them how we like that okay and then between this one and this one let's see let's do the fuchsia and i just counted out an even number of beads so that it's equal on both sides of the necklace pardon my arm Okay, you can kind of see where I'm going with that. And then we'll, we'll do some more. Spacers. And then this will be our last set. I guess we could do the dark blue. Four of those. You know, I may, I think three. You always want to do odd numbers. That makes more a better visual look. So I think I'm going to do just three and three. We'll save these extras maybe for some earrings. Some companion earrings because I do have, I will have two of these drops left. And I know we did some wire wrapped earrings, if you recall, that will also coordinate with this um, last weekend. So I hope everybody's doing well. It's been a busy week around my house. I can't, I can't let the cat out of the bag, but I I did some major short, major chores in the house this week while my mother's been out of town. It's a secret. I don't think, I think she's going to be too busy to try to watch any of my videos while she's out of town. So I think I'm safe in saying something, but we've had some ideas about rearranging some things in the house and I went ahead and did it. So I'm a little sore, a little sore today, but I'm excited that I got it done. Okay, and then last but definitely not least, we'll do the brown on the very back, kind of the brownish color. I'm not going to worry too much about it all laying out perfectly. Once we string, then that's the where you start playing around. So let me back out a little. That's the idea. I think that'll be really pretty. And then, of course, these spacer beads. I love these. Um, I think I got these at Bargain Bead Box. And they're just little four... They look like fire polish beads, but they're spacer beads in the four millimeter. So, stringing. So I'm going to take my string... And I'm going to pull off a whole bunch. Um, I'm not going to make this necklace super long, but I want to put, I want to pull more than I need. I always keep extra, the extra for earrings and things like that. So I really don't waste it. I know a lot of people like to string right off the, stu the spool and that's fine. Totally up to you. 
and I like to start in the middle. So I'm going to just take my string and I'm going to string on my my middle piece, my focal bead. Like that. And then I just take one side and start stringing and then uh, decide if I like it or not and then keep going. So, so that you're not suffering through watching me string and string and string, I am going to time lapse this a little bit and uh, so you can watch it progress but you don't have to sit for hours and hours watching me string. Not that it's going to take me hours but... <laughs> You know what I mean. It can be tedious to watch that. So, without further ado, I'm going to start stringing and we will time lapse this. So, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, I was having a time with those seed beads. They were, ch I was chasing them all over the mat. Um, sometimes they cooperate and sometimes they don't. So, um, I do like this a lot. And I do like just the tiny bit of pink peeking out. At the very end, I did not use the pink. Um, I don't think you'll see it at the back of the necklace. So, I just kind of left them off. And also, I was kind of losing my patience with them, <laughs> to be honest. And uh, I did the three little uh, spacer beads here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my toggle on this side. And then I'm going to string the other side. So I'm just doing a simple loop through my uh, crimp tube. You guys know about the crimp tubes. Um, I like them. I just find they're easier to crimp with um, than those tiny little beads. You can do the beads too. You do what's comfortable. Um, what you don't want, and everybody will say this, you do want enough room to, so your toggle's not going to be very tight. But what you don't want is you don't want these wires to cross. So... You're gonna make your loop and then make sure your wires are not crossed. And then you're gonna take your crimp tube, I mean your crimp tube, you crimp, <laughs> and you're gonna use the biggest set of jaws first, right? And you're going to smish down so you have something like that. And then you're going to smish sideways like that, like that. And there you have it. And then I like to put a four millimeter crimp cover over that. I'm going to Make this just a little, if you can see that, tighter with the edges of my There we go. Now we're going to cut the excess off. With your flush cutters. And then I'll save this probably for a bracelet. And then sometimes these um, crimp covers can be a little finicky. I like to use my um, flat nose pliers and just gently, and I do mean gently, just close it. 
just like that. You can come back and just squish it a little bit more. I think I need a little bit more trimming here. And you're going to slide your beads down. And we're ready for the other side. So again, I'm going to time lapse this. So you're not sitting through me chasing seed beads all over my mat, which is what I was doing earlier. And uh, we'll do the other side. And we'll put it on a bust and see what it looks like. to put our toggle on I think this turned out very nice this is a, at this point you can you know take a look and see if you like what you've done if if not you can restring it at this point um, I think I like this quite a bit so I'm not gonna make any changes uh, so I'm just gonna add my let's see where are my little tubes we're going to put on the rest of our toggle here. This is a very simple necklace, but I think I think simple can be very pretty. You know, if you've got if you're using beautiful stones and colors, it doesn't have to be complicated to be gorgeous. I just think the colors themselves on these um these dyed agate pieces are just so pretty. This is where I struggle, and probably you all do too, and that's at the end of your necklace. So one of the things I like to do is just lay it down kind of flat on my board and um, or wherever I'm, surface I'm working on and just kind of gently, I don't know, zhuzh that into place. <laughs> zhuzh. Is that a word? And then come in with my crimps. This is the delicate spot too where I end up breaking beads. <laughs> I'll crack a bead because I'm trying to get close. I'm sure no one's ever experienced that before, right? You know what I'm talking about. And hey, if it happens, it happens. Ah, see, you hear that? <laughs> but no, never fear. That's the that's the crimp bead. Okay. And that can also be used for an earring. So we'll use our crimp covers here. Sometimes if I have extra string too, I'll fill in with crimp beads. You know, um, if somehow I have extra space. Another way you could do these crimp beads is pick it up like this and then slide it in this way and then gently close it. It's another way I do it. I think the trick with the crimp covers is to not be in a hurry. All right. There's our necklace. It's very pretty. I think that turned out very nice. Pretty lotus charm and I just love these colors. So I think um, my puppies are letting me know they want to go outside. So I think we're going to jump outside. I'm going to take this outside so we can see it in the sunshine.
<laughs> okay, I think my camera wants to go outside too. So, without further ado, we're going to go outside. See you outside. Okay, so we're in my backyard. And this is a planter. I've got this on. And what do you think? Nice and sparkly. Sorry for the blooper earlier. <laughs> you know, I, I can't plan those if I try. I think I'm gonna put this in the sunshine too. You can take a look at it there. So the doggies see a squirrel, so you're probably gonna hear some grouching in a minute. But this turned out nice. It's very pretty. This is it in the sunshine. There's that really pretty pendant. Nice and colorful. So I'm glad you could join me today on this beautiful Sunday to make this pretty necklace with my BB Craft agate beads and the teardrop beads. And I'll be back next Sunday for another tutorial from BB Craft. And as always, thank you for watching. Subscribe and like, let your friends know. And again, this is an affiliated link, which means I do get a commission if you purchase these through my social media links. Thanks again for your support and all your lovely comments. And I will see you on the next video. Come on, let's get some chicken. <laughs> Hello. Say everybody. Hi everybody. My name is Ginger. And that one's Cha Cha. And we're waiting for some chicken. Yeah? Y'all want some chickens? <laughs> okay.